Ladies and gentlemen, very warm welcome to you all. We are so happy to, um, to have you here. Tonight, it will not be um, a corporate evening. Uh, the idea is not that this is not a corporate event. This is not an event with companies. This is an event with people, people who are interested in certain topics. And this is an event with people who like to share and basically with members of the community. This is a grassroots event. Yeah? We, we, we had a very nice corporate official event last year with ministers talking and so on. Um, but as we couldn't have the king this year, we decided to have a community event with normal people. Um, <laughs> and that's not a political statement. <laughs> Um, so, very warm welcome. Uh, it's already two years that we have started. Uh, time flies when, when you're busy and, and when you're having fun. Um, this is our second year. Basically, it's two and a half years since we had the, um, the keys to this place. The agenda today is very simple. Very, very short presentation. A bit of me so that I can explain you where you are and what we, what, what, what we have planned for you and, 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 and wha what you can look forward to for next year. And then we have Hassan, my friend Hassan, who is also based here with a seat at the table, who will, who will give you an in-depth presentation of what we are really doing here in this difficult neighborhood of the north region of Brussels, the canal region, and why entrepreneurship is so important uh, for people from this region. That all will be finished in about... 30, 30 minutes chrono, and then we will move on to beer and to ways for you to win beer. Um, we've, we've said this is, this is a, normally this for the people who, who will be listening and who will be sharp today will, will have free beer all the evening, yeah, and even more if need be. Uh, so, so be sharp for the quiz that we are organizing in about uh, at 1940. Then there will be uh, the networking part, and during the networking part, I invite you all to go and meet the different companies that uh, are, are, are upstairs, and these companies all have their uh, booth set up, and they are going to show what they are doing and wha what they offer to the market and why they believe uh, uh, it, it, it was important for them to be here tonight. So. There we are, that's what we are doing. Two spaces here, 40 minutes here, and then it, it's upstairs. And then uh, after the official part, you just run around as much as you, you want. You, you ask questions, you, you, you interact with people. And then uh, a little bit li later in the evening, we'll start to set up music. And it's going to be a birthday party, a non-corporate birthday party for friends and community members. That's how we see it tonight. So my first presentation is all about welcoming you and saying that this is your event. I mean, D Digitizer is the home of the tech communities of Brussels. Without you, it wouldn't exist. So this is basically your birthday event. This is, this is why, why we have created this. We have created a, a place where you can meet each other, talk, discover new technologies, have fun, create a company, uh, and, and, and also to a place where you can shelter. Shelter is quite important in our life. Uh, being able to shelter and focus on one specific project for one or two weeks is important. People from big, bigger corporations on across the street, uh, like NG, like, like Proximus, uh, Euroclear, like to come here just to, to shelter for a week, to finish a project for them sake, you know, to get something done and finish it without all the hustle that you will have within four walls that you can have in a bigger corporation. So this is your place, this is the, your place to shelter, this is your place to do, get things done. This place is, is, uh, is driven by generosity. Oh, this place is driven by generosity. It's because there are trainers who want to share their knowledge that we can exist. Without trainers who join their knowledge, without people who join their ideas, without people coming together to organize things, this will not happen. Yeah? We are just the platform 
you basically are, 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 are the content, the real content of this, uh, of this place. And I would really thank you for all the gener generosity, for all the warmth that we felt in the past two years. It's a networking evening. So it's, it, now it's time to focus on, on the networking part. Make sure that you, you, you are ready, yeah? Make sure that you know why you're here. I know why, uh, uh, why Jeroen is here for, for tonight, and I know why, pa why Patrick is here tonight. You know, they, they have a focus, they know, what they, they know what they want to share, they know how they can help the communities, yeah? they, they, are, they are focused, so I know why, why they are here. Um, you should know it as well. So when you meet each other, we didn't bother making badges and things like that, but when you talk to each other, try to understand what this person in front of you is looking for and how you can help him and, how and, and what you have to share. So how did it all start? Who knows the story, how it all started? That's why you all had to share, put, because now it's going to last a long time because I have to tell the story. So the whole story is a story of the data science community. We started 2014 to organize uh, meetups to share the knowledge around data science. Uh, we were very quickly picked up by, by our friends from, uh, from AXA who offered us a, a place to, um, to work from. And so we got 600 square meter to work from and a training center with 12 training rooms. So we, we started to share those training rooms with people who had something to say and knowledge to share. And we, would do, we were doing that for free. Um, that's how we very, very quickly grew to a membership of, of more than 4,000 people. Um, that's the story of, of, of the data science community that uh, two years ago had to look for another location because the, the wonderful location we had at AXA in Boisfort uh, was closing down and then we were looking for a new space. And we had our friends from Hub Brussels who, um, who pointed out different options for us where we could continue and, and develop our community. And together with them, we, uh, we decided to, uh, to invest in this place. This place it belongs to uh, Sofina. Sofina is, is one of our, our, our biggest supporters. It's an investment company. Um, they had this, this, this location in their portfolio. It was empty. And we gave them a plan in order to, to, to uh, um, activate this community, uh, to this, this place, and, and, and make sure that there was some, sp some life in this empty space. Our plan was based around two main things. It was ba based around um, digitalization of Brussels on one side, and it was based around uh, entrepreneurship. As you know, we are here in probably the poorest, in, in the center of the seven poorest communes of Belgium. So basically, the, uh, statistically, there should not be any poorer place than this podium around in Belgium. Um, and, and, and still, um, you see in this place that um, you have youngsters below 24 who, who did not manage to, to, to end your, their secondary, service, uh, se secondary school. Three quarter of them did not end their secondary school. The first time I heard three quarter, I, I thought that the guy didn't understand anything around statistics, that it was one quarter who didn't make it and three quarter who did make it. No, it's the other way around. Three quarter did not end their secondary school. They are all entrepreneurs, they are all tracking their plan, <laughs> making sure that, that they, they get around by themselves. These are the real entrepreneurs. These are the people that with very, very l low means manage to um, um, really manage to get around each month without really the help of anybody because they are in the gray zone. With the plan around entrepreneurship that we have in, in, in mind is we believe that these young entrepreneurs have everything that's needed to become a real entrepreneur. And that when they see what, what Brussels has to offer them in education, in support, that we can really bring, bring them from a great zone into the wide zone. And that's really our plan uh, for the coming years. And that's the plan that, that convinced for once um, the, our friends from Sofina to, to sponsor the building, but it's also the plan that convinced NG to, uh, to, to give us money, and it's a plan that convinced the region of Brussels uh, uh, to support us. 
about uh, there are some figures oh yeah the good news the good news is that our annual report is out you will find it it's 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 very nice it's a 38 36 page document it's an annual report of everything we've done in the past year and um, it arrived only today initially it was due to arrive the 17th and then it was rescheduled on the 24th so I can and poor Molly had a lot of stress uh, put on by me because I wanted to have this brochure here tonight so we have a brochure for each one of you so if you want to have a look at what's happening it's in there uh, but the short summary is that uh, we've had over 50 startups in this building since we started over the past two years. We did over 950 events uh, and, and more than two thirds of those events were free events because that's the deal we had with Sofina. We would make events available to anyone even if they didn't have the money to pay to attend the event. Um, we had over 14,000 people coming by in the past in the past two and a half years and, uh, and and we believe when we think about it and when we looked at the figures that we directly or indirectly influenced 210 new jobs in Brussels when you look at from the money side and you think it uh, or how it happened we got for the first two years about 350,000 euros of support from the Brussels region and in those two years we spent 1.2 million uh, so our contribution to the to the region was 1.2 million, but when you add the 52 startups and the 210 jobs, we are far above. For the multiplier for the investment of the region of Brussels, is somewhere between three and a half, which can be calculated, and the 10 million that we believe we have contributed. So, so it's around 25, 30 uh, for each euro that we had from the region of Brussels. We delivered about 25, 30 to the region of Brussels back. So that's what we do. These are the partners we work with. Um, and we, are, uh, we believe that we are a start initiative, starting, helping companies to start their business, helping people to start their AI project, helping people for, as of March, together with uh, Amazon Web Service, start a cloud, cloud, cloud experience, start digital with, with our friends from uh, Coder Dojo, my biggest frustration today is that we have a solution for the kids in Kodor Dojo. We have not yet found a solution for the parents of the kids. They are here anyway. So we need to find a way for the parents of the kids also to become more digital. So that's, that, that's the next challenge. Um, we have set up a, an AI discovery lab on the first floor where you can find some examples of, of how, how AI is being done in the different companies in Belgium. And we really want to set up very soon, as soon as we have the contract signed, to set up a meeting room of the future. So this is the place where every Brusselaire uh, can be excited about his digital skills and his entrepreneurial skills. Yeah? It's a place where companies uh, come and do their offsites. It's a place where there are a lot of meetings taking place. It's an ideal place for hackathons, for meetups, for training, master classes, exhibitions, and so on. I won't go through all these, the, the, the next slides, because I'm really eager to listen to my friend Hassan here. But know that we, we, for the coming months, we are going to do a big push on AI. And we want to make people AI aware, and we want to make companies AI aware. So how are we going to do that? Um, we are going to do that by having pop-up demos of real AI projects on the first floor. These pop-up demos will be available every day from 9 to 5, and you will be able to go to, uh, to on each demo and listen how the system has been set up, what was the value of setting it up like that, what's the value of AI, basically. Each demo will also include a, a, training, a, a, a training cycle on DataCamp so that you can learn how, how to implement it. Each, is, each presentation will also have a one hour presentation uh, of the concept that was behind it and, and how, what's needed to implement it. If you're still interested after that one hour presentation, you can follow the two days hands on, one or two days hands on to implement it. This year we will also have um, an AI week that will take place uh, between the 16th and the 20th of, of March. 
the, basically we want to, to push all the AI related events that we are having here anyway, push them into that week so that, that, that we also we can have a, a more booth upstairs uh, to show what we are doing. And the DI Summit will be spread over two days instead of one day. And uh, um, it will be about, again, concrete implementation of AI. It will be called Beyond the Hype of AI. Uh, two days with the first day on the focusing on the technical side and the second day focusing on the value of AI. And in between, there will be a gala evening where we can all wear our best tuxedo. And on the second day, we will do a barbecue where we can wear our, our, our jeans. So that's basically what's happening here. Um, with, together with the different examples that we have upstairs, we have some training tracks so that you can learn about AI. One is called AI for Everyone. It's an easy one. It's 12 hours you so that you ha can have the basics of AI. The other one is for business people so that they can have a good idea of what AI can be, why it can be used for their environment, for their company. And that's also three months, but it's two hours a week. And then we have the AI fundamental track, which is just for people who re really want to focus and become an, uh, an AI expert. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, like I said before, uh, tonight is not an event about corporates that we invite or ministers that we are inviting. This is, a corporate, uh, this is an event about people, people that we like. And one of the person I really like to introduce you now is, is Hassan. Hassan has been uh, involved in this project before it even existed. Uh, he was in contact with Sofina as well, also to use the space, and we decided to work together and to share this space. Hassan, with his organization called A Seat at the Table, uh, is, is bringing young youngsters in front of CEOs of companies so that those CEOs can influence them in a positive way to become entrepreneurs and see the light of of, of what it is to be an entrepreneur. So Asan, can I call you on stage so that you can start your presentation and I will then drop the mic and wish you a very pleasant evening. <laughs>